stupid, bro. Yo, what's going on, everyone? It's your boy, Boone. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not trying to be all emotional on camera or nothing. But we got something to talk about, and this is one of those topics I never thought I'd be covering. Like, today, we're gonna be talking about PayPal. Boy, if you don't- Like, what the fuck? Why are we talking about PayPal? It's some crazy news that's going on right now. Like, I actually did not know about this update. Um, apparently this came out, like, a month ago or so. You guys are probably wondering, like, dude, what kind of news could PayPal be coming out with that's at all relevant? How desperate are you for content? And that's that's a really good question. First off, fuck you, all right? Like, you're right, I'm desperate as hell. But, um, this is actually crazy news. So, PayPal has come out and basically said they're gonna be ending buyer protection for all items intended for resale. Ah, I know, stop, I know, please I'm catch your breath. Myself. I'm still trying to catch mine. What the fuck, dude? Like, what are we doing here? What's good, PayPal? Like, nobody uses PayPal for shit besides reselling. Like, let's be real here. Do you use PayPal to pay your bills? That's what I thought. Do you use PayPal to, I don't know, pay your tuition? No. Do you get paid from your job through PayPal? No. Nobody uses PayPal for nothing besides this freaking resale, bro. So what is going on? Why is PayPal doing this? Me and you are going to touch tips with that question. That was a bad analogy. Uh, today in this video, drop a like if you're excited for me returning to my standing state. We're in our power stance today, boys. You cannot tear me down in this stance. Like, I honestly am feeling pretty emotional about this news because this is actually pretty crazy. So let's get into talking about it. Um, if you guys do want me to do more videos here, seriously, like, do drop a like. I actually think it's more fun. I really don't like just sitting there. I can't be expressive. I just felt like I needed to rant today, so I just could not be limited to a 700 dollar director's chair don't play with me um, but let's get into this video I hope you guys enjoy it so let me like just explain a little more what's happening because I was just dropping hella cringe jokes in the intro um, so PayPal is saying that any item you buy intended for resale purposes they're not gonna back you up with the buyer protection program and what the buyer protection program is um, basically like when you purchase something and it arrives and it's not as described or like you don't even receive the item um, the PayPal buyer protection program program is what you turn to to get your money back and I personally as someone that buys so much shit on the internet from these nerdy virgin little dweebs that post shit and then send you a fake or don't send you shit at all like I've been down this lane of having people scam me like so often that it's just like another day in the life at this point I'm pretty good at telling listings nowadays that like are obvious scams and shit so it very rarely happens but I still every once in a while will buy an item off someone and then they send me a fake while they used real tags in their listing or some stupid shit. So basically, under this new ruling from PayPal of their policies, I would not then be able to get my money back. And... <laughs> That's the issue, folks. That could actually kill my entire Seattle Select page where I resell old Supreme Goods, pull up on me, link in the description. And that's just crazy, cause like, if you guys have watched me for a while, you would know, literally one of my favorite things to do is not only buying old Supreme Heat, but buying old Supreme Heat for a steal. And when you're getting shit for a steal, you just kinda have to deal with the scammers. Uh, like I said, I've gotten used to the scammers at this point, but if PayPal no longer has buyer protection for me, I live like marketplaces like Grail or Depop those literally aren't gonna be usable anymore because if a person sends you an item that's stained really badly, which happens to me so often, or if they don't send you anything at all, you just couldn't get your money back. Now, there are um, some really kind of confusing things going on with this policy because as always with every company, we're pretty left out of the dark. I'm not sure if this policy is gonna come into place when you're just buying stuff from like an actual web store, like I don't know, Palace or something, and in that case, it's not as big of a deal I suppose because those are actually good companies that aren't just gonna scam you But if this policy applies to marketplaces like grailed and stuff where you buy resale goods That that's crazy dog like that's actually gonna change the entire marketplace It's honestly only gonna hurt people like scammers are gonna rule the world now So that's why I decided to make a video about this today Um, I just think this is crazy news and it's insane to me that yet again resellers are the target of just like being crapped on by everyone like not only did we get sales tax nowadays on supreme I have to spend so much money because of the amount of taxes and shit I pay and now I don't even have protection when I'm buying this shit. like 
it's just getting painful out here, folks. I really don't get why reselling gets so demonized. Like, people are trying to make legit money, not selling drugs or doing some shady shit. They're straight up trying to run a buying and selling business. Everyone in the world buys and sells. Like a store like Nordstrom, they're technically buying and reselling clothing from the manufacturer. Even like grocery stores, everyone does it. But when some scrawny ass white kid does it in his bedroom, it's all of a sudden, fuck him. I just don't get it. I truly don't get this policy update. I kind of understand. I think it has to do with so many people taking advantage of this whole buyer protection program. We all know there's plenty of people out there that stay trying to finesse PayPal. And oftentimes PayPal is having to pay out people in these cases. Um, they get filed through their buyer protection program. So I think that's why they're ending it for at least like the resale side. Um, but man, it's actually got me so rattled. I'm not giving you guys enough info. I'm giving you guys too many opinions right now i'm sorry um this is gonna come into place man i stay having to correct myself in these videos but um it comes into place september 14th i said the wrong date in the video because like dumbass still but um yeah september 14th 2020 is when this is gonna happen yeah super soon that's why i'm making this video because like i feel like not that many people realize this is happening i was asking my discord which you guys should join because i actually get like a lot of help with these videos through my discord but i was asking people if they had heard about this and a lot of people were like bro what the hell like i didn't know this was about to happen and i didn't either so like that's why we're here today what this whole policy change really comes down to is how are they going to determine Determine what items intended for resale purposes are um, like I said earlier if this has to do with just buying items from like an actual company like palace or FTP or something I don't see this being as big of a deal although it's still like what the fuck are we doing but if this has to do with like even buying stuff off people from Depop and shit I don't see how anymore you can even use those marketplaces because as someone that uses like grailed and all that shit on the regular there are some fucking fools out here. Like, there's so many people that stay doing that shady shit. Here's a good example of a shirt I copped off a dude on Depop. Dude, this graphic is so disgusting. This is a fake ass tee. Um, this dude sold this to me using real photos of like a real 3-6 Mafia tee. Ended up sending me this fake ass shirt. You already know we got our money back and homie didn't even get his t-shirt back because he didn't reply to the case. Get nice. rocked. But if we had the new updated um, PayPal policy we're talking about today. Oh shit, there's a restart going on hold up hold up this just turned into a live cop my internet is so bad in my room my internet's so bad I can't even load <sighs> okay well I my internet's trash so I can't even go for this restock smoke grays size 9 someone hook it up I god damn it I could not get them I don't even know what I was talking about um I think I was saying though uh if I had gotten that shirt like if that situation had happened to me I might have not gotten my money back because of this brand new policy change from PayPal so if that's the case <laughs> PayPal the only reason people use your bullshit is to buy clothing online I, I just I don't understand why this is happening like I kind of do but at the same time I feel like at the end of the day this is gonna hurt PayPal more than it helps it um but yeah I just want to talk about it update you guys with this news because as you can tell I'm like pissed about it I literally have been reselling clothing before I even started YouTube like it is truly one of my biggest passions in life I know this is so cringy to say but finding like old deals on just crazy heat that I've wanted forever it just brings me so much happiness like it's such a good feeling wanting an item for like years and then finding it for a crazy deal if this actually impacts like buying clothing off marketplaces like grailed and stuff man we're gonna have a problem like it's it's gonna be bad so yeah I just want to talk about this with you all like I said if you like me standing up here like able to do some milli rocks okay I'm not really helping my case with standing up I don't know man I'm just trying to switch stuff up a little bit um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video it's fuck PayPal in the comments unless they allow us to keep using marketplaces like grailed I will say there is like a lot of gray area in this new policy update we're just gonna have to wait and see because as of right now PayPal is teasing us like a goddamn OnlyFans account giving you that little teaser post but not really showing you what you're there for and you're just like what the fuck so what are we talking about? Why am I? God damn it, dude. I am sorry. I cannot stay on topic for this video. I'll see y'all later, though. It's been your boy, Boom. Fuck PayPal. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Peace. If I went down